You're listening to KEXP. We're at 90.3 FM in Seattle. You can find us online around the world at kexp.org. I'm Cheryl Waters. I'm delighted to have with me in the studio today Jessica Pratt. Welcome. Hi, thanks for having me. It's so wonderful to have you here. I've really been enjoying your new album. It's a little bit of a tongue twister for me. On Your Own Love Again. I love the way that you sort of put those words together in a way that the brain needs to think about. Yeah, that that kind of, that just came out of my mouth when I was writing that song, and I like that it's sort of counterintuitive, so. It's wonderful. Yeah. Well, if you'll start us off with a little music, I would love to talk about the new album afterwards. Okay, can do. Lovely. No, oh, thank you. Jessica Pratt's here in the KEXP studios. Thank you. 
Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Jessica Pratt, live on KEXP, On Your Own Love Again. It is such a beautiful, warm, and intimate record. And I understand that you recorded that pretty much by yourself at home. And I'm wondering if that is a way that you prefer to record in that kind of isolated environment. Um, Well, up until the time that I recorded that, and I I guess still it was more just... um, that it was kind of the only way I knew how to record things. I'd never really spent a ton of time in a studio, um, so it's just what felt comfortable to me. Um, and when I started recording that record, I had like a couple songs that were already recorded uh, on the setup I have at home, so it just seemed like the natural progression to finish the record that way. Um, but yeah, I, I like doing it. I like the privacy of home recording. I think it's conducive to the music that I make, so... I guess I have a slight preference toward it. I mentioned that the songs are very warm and very intimate, and I think that some might be um, tempted to say that they're spare, but I feel like, again, it's more that it's intimate and warm. There's a lot it, a lot of sound filling that space. Yeah, I, like, I mean, I feel the same way. I, I feel like um, maybe in some of the reviews and stuff... Uh, sparseness is something that people sort of um describe describe it um with but i i feel like it's it's not actually that sparse i feel like it's it's pretty decently filled out um but i'm happy that you pick up on that (laughs) your debut album which was self-titled came out in 2012 but i understand that you wrote those songs quite a bit of time before that record came out when you were much younger Mm -hmm. were the songs on this record from an earlier time as well or did you write them more or less for this release? Most of them were written for the release and, um, you know, semi-recently. Um, 
There were a couple of songs, um, the ones that I was talking about, that were recorded in the same setup um, that pushed me to record it at home. There were some that were from, like, uh, I think there's like two songs that are from 2012, I think. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, it's mostly very current and fresh stuff. So. I, I ask because it makes me wonder if it, it felt very different knowing that you had an audience of people who were excited to hear your music and interested and waiting for that next record. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's totally a, a, a different trip to be on. Um, I think after a while I just kind of stopped thinking about it, but initially when I went into recording them, it was kind of, yeah, it was definitely present on my mind, but I think it's best to try to not think about it as much as you can, otherwise you start overthinking things. But Since you sm sort of immersed yourself in kind of an isolated place to make this record and write it, how has it felt now that it's out and people are hearing it and you're performing it live? Um, it's, it's a lot more surreal than the process that I went through with the first record. Um, it's really, it's cool. Um, I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, I guess when you make something in private, um, I don't know, maybe there's something in the back of your head that um, it's difficult to gauge whether or not people are going to connect with it in the same way that you do. So then when they like it, it's, it's very rewarding. So that's been very nice. Well, it's an absolutely beautiful record on your own love again. It's out on drag city and we'd love to hear some more songs. Okay. It's Jessica Pratt live in the KEXP studios. <laughs> Thank you. 
utterly enchanting. Oh, geez, thanks. <laughs> Say you're in 
Jessica Pratt live in the KEXP studios. Songs from the new album, On Your Own, Love Again. The album, absolutely beautiful to hear them live, though, is just almost otherworldly. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, both of you, for coming in. We didn't talk about Cyrus, but really some beautiful, subtle embellishments on those songs. Thank you. Oh, well, he's fabulous. All you have to do is just look at the guy, and you can tell him. Okay. Fabulous man. <laughs> Thank you again so much for coming in. It was wonderful to have you. Thank you. So happy to be here. Thanks for having us. You've got it tuned to KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listener-powered KEXP.org.